I'm a native of Jamaica. I was born and raised there. And when I was 11, my family and I moved to the United States because I needed to have open heart surgery again. The move to the United States was beautiful, but it was also hard. The children were mean. And because of my heart condition, I couldn't play with the kids as much as I would want to. I was a great reader, but I spoke heavy patois. The students just made fun of me. I developed insecurities when I'm supposed to be focused on making friends and just having fun. I was trying to figure out strategies just to avoid being bullied. My answer was just to dim down, to not be the smartest kid in the class anymore. And so instead of getting A's and B's, which is what I was capable of, I just started getting C's. I settled. In high school, I had this teacher and she signed in my yearbook, never settle for less than your best despite the challenges and obstacles you face. I felt that she knew somehow I was more capable than what I was doing, but she just didn't know the source of it. And so that's what really was a catalyst for me doing better and living up to my actual potential versus dimming down. So when you say deeper, like you want to have a deeper relationship, like tell me what that looks like for you. Even though I didn't know how I would help people, I didn't know that I would end up in therapy. I just knew I just some way, way, somehow, I was going to be in the helping field. How was it like to hear Nicole talk about That's what really inspired me to go back to school. I wanted to actually pursue my doctorate in marriage and family therapy. And because I knew I wanted to do couple therapy, I was specifically looking for that specialization and, and you came up. I love that I could actually be in school fully online obtaining my doctorate. I knew I would at some point actually have to do an internship to be able to know that, okay, you can find a place in your area to do your hours. For me, that was also really good. I believe in accreditation because I want to be able to use my degree and I want it to be recognized. So for me, the doctorate plus my licensure, perfect mixture. I had everything that I needed to be able to do my dissertation. Like, I got that one-to-one -one feedback. Sure, um, in terms of how much time to spend. I don't think feet, you can really put a price on the attention that you get when you have professors who are really devoted to your growth. Everything to celebrate all the hard work, all the years that you've been The feedback I got during my dissertation was valuable, and it really challenged me to think critically. I think about how my professors treated me and how they helped me personally. And so I try to really emulate that with my students even now. So when I think about the experience, it was just beautiful. I'm a psychotherapist. I love helping couples and I love helping women. Specifically, I'm the founder of Regain Your Core and that's a program devoted to helping women regain their selves. Our relationships would be so much stronger. I wrote the first book, a devotional, and then I actually got inspired to write the second one to share my personal stories of my struggle with bullying and self-esteem and how I had to come out of that and just to really build myself up again. Knowing what I had gone through with the bullying, knowing that I had settled for less than my best, knowing that I had never earned honors in school, and to know that at the highest point of my educational journey, which was obtaining my doctorate, that I actually walked the stage with distinction, I couldn't even put it into words. Because of NU, I felt empowered, I felt valued, I felt appreciated. National University was the best choice for me.